I appreciate something that um, is sublime. And sublime is usually something that's easy to find in a natural environment, like a mountain or a lake or a beach, it has this sense of awe, a sublime beauty that actually makes one pause and see or think something beyond your normal thoughts. So if something is very beautiful, to me it's not at all the aesthetic property of it. It's something deeper. It's more about like a harmonic resonance that uh, creates an internal change in the person. This is the second part of a show called Morphic Resonance. Uh, the first part was in Mexico City. I've done a lot of traveling and exploring in different mountain areas, uh, especially in South America. So I, I collect rocks as I find them, and then I'm grinding them into a pigment to use them as the base of the paintings. Um, so there's a correlation between those works and this one's. I've been spending a lot of time, especially the last few years, in natural environments and coming here to Monterey was quite a shock because it's such an uh, industrial metropolis. I had the idea that I wanted to bring this kind of awe experience that you have in nature into the gallery environment. This context is very different. Um, I've been making these kind of uh, sand installations in nature and they're just very ephemeral. I make them one day and then they get washed away by the sand. So here I wanted to try and recreate that uh, as a juxtaposition to this kind of um, industrial space and have this kind of like, it's like a very personal experience of nature in a way. And um, I wanted to use elements from the environment we're in. So we went to collect rocks in Chipinkley which is uh, one of the mountains close by. And we went to the desert in Minas, which is where the red rocks are from. And then uh, another place called Hawazteca, uh, which is a dam close by, and it has these round white rocks. So I wanted to kind of create something within this place that we're in, um, using kind of like what's already here. So already bringing the sand inside the space, I feel like it changed the dynamic of the gallery. The sand is kind of a canvas and the rocks is my art materials. It's just a matter of like placing the rocks in relationship to each other that creates the piece. I liked the idea of creating something that is purely using nature and is completely ephemeral. So I'm using water at the moment to bind the sand to create the geometric forms, but over the time the water is going to evaporate and the forms are going to decompose. So over like the month period of the exhibition, the whole thing is going to collapse on itself. And then at the end, the rocks will be returned to the same place they were found. So it's kind of bringing not only the use of natural elements, but also the, the cyclical uh, everything in nature is always changing, so I liked to have that kind of change as part of the installation. The work itself is kind of like beyond the materials. I'm using these materials because I like being in a specific place and using what I have around me. I'm kind of using the rocks in relationship to each other to create these kind of symbolic diagrams that actually are something I've been developing for many years. They're actually kind of movement and energetic forms. And so placing them in this way in relationship to each other is creating this energetic field. It's meant to be an intimate experience, I feel like, in order for someone to really enter this work, they kind of need to already spend some time with it and enter into a more contemplative state where then you can start to um, really kind of understand the correlations between the different rocks in this scenario and why they're positioned specifically as they are. It's more like a work to be experienced internally 